गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हेयर नीला मैम फ्रॉम एस के एम पब्लिक स्कूल स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू चैप्टर नंबर फाइव लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स टूडे माई टॉपिक इज पैरल लाइन्स ट्रांसवर्सल्स एंड स्पेशल एंगल्स और यू कैन से एंगल्स मेड बाय अ ट्रांसवर्सल विद टू लाइन्स विच आर पैरल ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स आज यू नो कि वैन यू राइड इन अ कार ऑन अ स्ट्रीट दैट क्रॉस दैट क्रॉसेस रेल रोड ट्रैक्स हैव यू सीन रेल रोड ट्रैक्स एज यू क्रॉस द ट्रैक्स यू कंप्लीट अ ट्रांसवर्सल अ ट्रांसवर्सल इज अ लाइन दैट क्रॉसेज अदर लाइन्स विच आर पैरल यूजली वी वर्क विद ट्रांसवर्सल्स वेन दे क्रॉस पैरल लाइन्स लाइक द टू ट्रैक्स ऑफ अ रेल रोड so transversal is a line which intersects two or more given lines at different points is called a transversal to the given lines so this is a picture two lines are being intersected by a red line that is transversal this red line is intersecting these two lines which are in black at two distinct points line that intersects two or more lines at different points is called a transversal then when this happens eight angles are formed in the figure you see two lines these are non parallel lines and horizontal line this is intersecting these given two lines here eight angles are being formed angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 angle 4 angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 then this forms two neighborhoods in this blue neighborhood there are four angles angle 1 angle 2 angle 3 and angle 4 in other second neighborhood which is circled in red here angles are total angles are four angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 then remember vertical and linear pair angles here vertical angles are in the left hand side but as you know vertical angles are equal angle 1 is equal to angle 4 angle 3 is equal to angle 2 or you can say angle 2 is equal to angle 3 now in the right hand side angle 5 angle 6 angle 7 and angle 8 here vertically opposite angles are angle 5 and angle 8 as you know vertical opposite angles are equal angle 5 is equal to angle 8 and angle 7 is equal to angle 6 similarly 
for angle 1 2 3 and 4 vertically opposite angles as you know these are equal angle 1 is equal to angle 4 angle 2 is equal to angle 3 then we talk about linear pair of angles As you know, two adjacent angles are set to form a linear pair of angles if their non-common arms are to opposite rays. So here, linear pair in the left hand side, in the first neighborhood, linear pair are big here, angle 1 and angle 2 angle 2 and angle 4 then another pair of linear pair is angle 4 and angle 3 then angle 3 and angle 1 similarly in the right hand side linear pairs being formed are angle 5 and angle 6 angle 6 and angle 8, angle 8 and angle 7, angle 7 and angle 5. These are linear pair of angles. Here linear pairs now you will tell which are linear pairs here being formed angle 1 and angle 2 angle 2 and angle 4 angle 4 and angle 3 angle 3 and angle 1 in the left hand side in the first neighborhood and in the right hand side in the second neighborhood angle 5 and angle 6 are linear pair angle 6 and angle 8 angle 8 and angle 7 angle 7 and angle 5 and sum of the two angles which are forming linear pair is always supplementary that is equal always equal to 180 degree so angle 1 plus angle 2 will be is equal to 180 degree because linear pair are being formed similarly for other linear pairs the sum of the two angles which are forming linear pair is always equal to 180 degree then these angles are called consecutive or same side angles same side angles angle 1 and angle 5 angle 3 and angle 7 here angle 2 and angle 6 angle 4 and angle a same side angles then interior angles between two lines so when two lines are being intersected by a transversal then interior angles here form between two lines are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5 and angle 6. These are called interior angles and exterior angles which are formed outside the two lines. So angle 1, angle 2, angle 8 angle 7 these are exterior angles outside the lines 
here black line that is transversal black line is intersecting two yellow lines which are non parallel and black is black line is called a transversal then alternate angles are on the different sides of the transversal and from different neighborhoods here alternate exterior angles are angle 1 and angle 8 students please look carefully angle 1 and angle 8 these are called alternate exterior angles similarly other pair of alternate exterior angle is angle 2 and angle 7 then alternate interior angles angles which are between two lines here angles in green angle 3 and angle 6 these are called alternate interior angles and angle 4 and angle 5 are of the same color and these are also called alternate interior angles so we can see angle 1 and angle 8 are alternate exterior angles angle 2 and angle 7 again other pair of alternate exterior angle angle 3 and angle 6 is alternate interior angle angle 4 and angle 5 are also alternate interior angles then consecutive interior angles are consecutive interior angles or we can say angles on the same side of the transversal here angles on the same side of the transversal are angle 3 and angle 5 other pair is angle 4 and angle 6 these are called consecutive interior angles angles 3 and angle 5 angles 4 and angle 6 then consecutive exterior angles angle 1 and angle 7 angle 2 and angle 8 these are called consecutive exterior angles then very important corresponding angles are located in the same position in each neighborhood so angle 1 and angle 5 these are located in the same position angle 1 and angle 5 here are corresponding angle angle 3 and angle 7 angle 2 and angle 6 angle 4 and angle 8 these are corresponding angles here we can see a pair of angles in which one arm of both the angles is on the same side of the transversal and their other arms are directed in the same direction is called a pair of corresponding angles here two lines are there and two transversals are there okay 
so here try to identify the type of angles angle 5 and angle 7 look at students angle 5 and angle 7 these are corresponding angles then angle 3 and 6 3 and 6 these are alternate interior angles alternate interior angles are the angles whose arms include the line segment of the transversal in between the two lines here we can say for alternate interior angles the a pair of angles in which one arm of each of the angles is on the opposite side of the transversal and whose other arms include the segment of the transversal in between the two lines so here angle 3 and angle 6 are called alternate alternate interior angles then angle 1 and angle 8 students see the uh, here location of angle 1 and angle 8 these are alternate exterior angles alternate exterior angle is a pair of angles in which one arm of each of the angles is on opposite sides of the transversal and whose other arms are directed in opposite direction and don't include the segment of the transversal in between the two lines is called a pair of alternate exterior angles so other pair of alternate exterior angle here is angle yes alternate pair here of exterior angle is yes here angle 1 and angle 8 was so here angle 9 and angle 16 here then name the angles angle 11 and angle 15 yes what type of angles are these angle 11 and angle uh, here angle 11 and angle 15 these are corresponding angles angle 12 and an angle 16 these are also corresponding so you will check your answers then name the angles angle 1 and angle 3 yes angle 1 and angle 3 corresponding angles again so you will check your answer after looking and you will do this so this is a presentation by mrs nilam gan thank you students stay alert stay healthy mask yourself take proper care and students you will solve worksheet number that is 41 that is based on i think transversal worksheet number 41 after watching this video and i have also sent one video based on transversal and angles uh, properties of a transversal so worksheet number 41 you will solve this 41 and 42 based on here transversal topic till then 
stay alert stay healthy thank you god bless all of us